like I don't know. Like uh, I don't. I mean, we're gonna get many answers, I'm sure. Uh, we didn't talk about it much, but Skyrath was the last. Take another go on the Bulba here, who has no mana now for the Cog, so uh, he's gonna eat a lot of damage. But man, this lane should be going so much better. Like if he had an Oob there, they would have killed him. Oh, he went for a Look at this, Miru is able to bring Juan to the high ground with the lift, and now he's gonna have to run away, and he can't do it. No Icarus dive available. He goes down. Excellent play from the young one. Go at this point to take over the lane, but like now he just got phase, and he has no Oob, or he didn't have Oob for that kill. Yawar and Monkeys Forever go toe to toe, and it's Yawar who. Um, I thought it was a big stack. You know, the big problem is that Derp Derp is actually not being able to do that much. He's been blocking. Oh, he's good. Yeah, Derp Derp is potentially going to get caught out to three on two here. Derp Derp is going to eat the first big Laguna coming out from Yawar. He's going to get dropped. They can really bring his team back on the back of this life stealer. Hook shot on a Derp Derp. Bulba with his haste room trying to make it back in the way, but the Fisher's going to catch him this one. Will work out for Root. Bulba picked last game. It was seen pretty commonly at TI, and it does a lot of what Life Sealer does. It like locks down a hero, except he does it way better. Root Owie getting coaxed in to a bad situation here. Tries to make a committed dive onto Schwan, who baits him right into a trap. Owie though, desperate, he's like, I'm gonna get that birdie. Got him. <laughs> wow. Turns back, gets the arcade bolt off. The Schwan goes down, and that is a great trade for Digital K. That is not good at all. That's 90 seconds. Oh, but monkeys, even, even better. Easy pullback into call down, into dragon slave, into certain you. death. Rinse and repeat. Oh, monkeys, Bulba, well, can he do it? He's thinking about it. He's in Viz, stalking, stalking more, Radiant waiting. There's no one. And on. the battery salt's gonna get popped, and so are the cogs here. If this is a solo pick for an off laner or the mid laner, that is swell. And they follow up with the hook, and that's the kill. Waga does show up. And uh, we'll not be able to stop Bulba from making it away. So Bulba goes out mid lane though. We're gonna see the egg. It comes out finally, but Ja is gonna eat a huge connection from Yawar. Yawar gonna go up into the Yules. Tries to make it away barely alive. Sidestepping. Oh, right between the loop. But there's gonna be the spirit that will fly out and finish him off. Turns into a three for one trade. Still very. I don't even think the hero is that bad. It's just like they 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 could have killed. Cla oh no! Dirk Dirk walks right into the Yules, and uh, that's what Lena does You're right done there, folks. For you don't really have a good item set to to help out right that much more so i agree with you just the way that these fights seem to peak at timing doesn't work for Midas, but they are going to make their first vehicle jump on the bulba here got him and they get it it's a lot of hate for bulba but that's they, cool they do show their fun little combo off clockwork goes down easy combo <laughs> i mean it costs some double ultimates and icarus diving an egg oh well, hello call down comes out and tc's like i'm ready to play now Jumps in, Rocket Barrage, not going to be very effective. Mitigated through the creep, but Waga's stuck in a corner now, trying to life steal his way back. And Vishwan trying to help zone the rest away, but that's not going to be happening. Waga will end up going down. Derp Derp flirting with the idea of just kind of getting... Here we go! Who's going to be first? It's Yawar, could get a quick reacting Yules, but they're not close so enough to awkward. pop! No! Hi! Derp Derp, they're going to be seen from the high ground. It's better position for DC. A whiffed Mystic Flare, though! Sidestep, jump in, Waga's going to pop up the infest, target Yawar, and they get him down with the help of the Winter's Curse. Now they charge up into the high ground for the secret shop area. Bulba shows up, hook shot in, is going to lock down Monkey Scrubber into a perfect call down coming out from TC. Makes for the easy kill, but now the egg, the egg, is going to start burning away here and with the pop right now it's not going to be connecting too much on the dc but it will zone them back it turns into a two for one trade tier twos for dc to break through i don't think they're going to want to wait too long to do it yeah they use three ultimates to kill someone like they use infest oh actually they didn't use that jump mid lane bulba gets a nice catch on the monkeys forever here pops the blade mail skyrath mage able to get off a nice mystic flare but monkey's still alive pops his mech and well he will end up going down they try to heal him out with the help of the Magic beam there from Phoenix, but it's not going to be enough. No presence on the map with his farm, which is completely different than, let's say, like Gyro or Lina, who have been involved in killing people. Jump from Bulba again on the Monkeys Forever with the Mystic Flare follow up. This is turning into a nightmare real quick for Monkeys. And it's going to make for an easy kick. Uh oh. Top lane might be in trouble. Bulba's on route. We've seen this story once before. This time he does have John nearby though. Once enough. Or there it is. Once more in. This time John could be there to help him out. Gets the uh, Winter's Curse on the TC to try to slow him down. It has no more mana for the Golden Brace, but he has a Soul Ring. Uses it. Tries a TP, but yeah, that ain't happening. So they end up both going down. Yeah. yeah he, Maybe yes. Is TC gonna farm the lane? He has BKB. Like he BKBs and runs away. That doesn't stop them from doing it. 
They're thinking about going for it. There they go, boys. They jump in. They're trying to get the catch. He pops that BKB. He pops that cooldown. And it's going to force up the Yules. And here comes Bulba, though. And now the turnaround play. A desperate egg pops out, but it should be cracked here from TC. Bulba, though, trying to man up on the monkeys forever here. The egg does not crack. It actually goes off. Now they jump back. They only lose Derp Derp for now, but look at this. Owie in big trouble. Going to get taken down. Laguna will fly through. Does finish off the bird. Now look at Waga. Trying to man low here on the TC, but it's going to be a three versus one. Can't take it. The lift's going to be there. Yawar in the meantime able to finish off Monkeys Forever. And it ends up being a four for one trade in the end. Digital Chaos. Uh, uh, I don't really see how he's going to get any like clutch Winter's Curses unless they're like doing a roach or something and he could fly over. Which could be right now. Comes the smoke. They can kind of make something happen here now. Oh, but the hook connection from Bob is going to stop him in the tracks. An egg and an egg. Both going to get dropped from both sides. And just chaos breaks out. And quickly, one by one, Rook gaining go down. Viru will be dropping in the end. Walker trying to man up, get you war. But he's eating so much rocket barrage damage that TC is going to help finish him off. And Schwan is going to be the final Rook gaining member, making it a full team wipe. DC. Get a two for five trade, and it looks like a follow up roach thereafter. And yeah. already pressure coming in the mid. And that you Winters curse his teammate, and he just three shot. Oh, okay. That's the dream. And oh, Rubik doesn't steal. They it. finally find their opportunity. A pull back, though, is not going to be on the mark for the Mystic Flare, but there's Bulba again with that magical hook shot. Well, Monkey's Forever able to sidestep. They quickly throw out the Winters curse for TC. Waga realizes I do not have an MKB. I can't hit this man. And he is just going to get chunked down very easily. Quagga is out and on the sidelines. Because of that investment, he has no buyback. And he is out for good. And that is game. We had waited a bit for it, but it is over. Digital Chaos will best. Root Gaming, 2-1 to one in our first round of the Nanyang NA Qualifier. He did 100 damage to Dyro. Does that count? Nope, I'll, I'll, it does I, not. I actually want to see his damage done at the end of the game. I'm looking right now. Earthshaker, 1,800. Phoenix, 8,000. Lifestealer, 5,500. Winter Wyvern did more damage than him. Winter Wyvern did 6,000.